Hey guys, it's Laura from ArtReallyHouse.com and today me and my little miss Caroline are going to show you guys how to make fizzing bath salts. So this recipe is very, very similar to a bath bomb, except you're not going to be putting it inside of a mold. You're just going to have it kind of loose. And as you pour it into the tub, it is going to fizz. And Caroline loves to help me do DIY. So she's going to help me do this today. It's really, really simple to make. We're just going to be basically putting some ingredients together here in a bowl. And then at the end, I'm going to give you an option of making it a little bit more decorative. Do you want to decorate ours? Yeah, I thought so. We are gonna start off by putting in all of our dry ingredients. One cup of baking soda is the first thing we're gonna put in. And then we're gonna do, this is a cup of Himalayan pink salt and Epsom salt mixed together. So I did a half a cup of each. You can do one or the other, you can do a combo. I like to mix them because both of these have different benefits for the skin and for the body. So I like to just do a little combination of both. Then we're gonna put in a half a cup of citric acid, which is going to be the one that helps it to fizz. So she's gonna put that in. And then we're gonna do a half of a cup of cornstarch. So these are all the dry ingredients and we're going to whisk these together. You wanna, nope, give me a little bit more. There, there, cornstarch is very sticky. Okay, go ahead and whisk it together really slowly. But we're gonna whisk these together here and then we're gonna add in our wet ingredients. Now when you add in your wet ingredients, you wanna do it slowly because we don't want it to fizz right now. We want to do that whenever we get in the bathtub. So I just have here two tablespoons of a carrier oil. You can do fractionated coconut oil is what I have here. You could do olive oil, grapeseed oil, almond oil, any type of carrier oil that you want you can do. So I am just going to kind of pour this in slowly. Caroline, keep whisking it together. And we're just gonna add it in slowly and whisk it together until everything is well combined. And then we are going to add in our essential oils. Now, for the essential oils, for the amount that I have here, I'm gonna do about 30 drops of oil. You can do a single oil, you can do a blend of oil. Over on the blog, I kind of wrote out a few of my favorite blends that you guys can grab over there. If you want to have that link right down in the description below. Caroline, I'm gonna let you pick. What oil do you want to put in here today? Um, lavender. Lavender, that is actually a really, really good one which we have right here. And I like lavender and wild orange. Do you want to do wild orange too? Sure. With it? Okay. So how about you do 10 drops of the lavender? And I do 15 drops of lavender and I'll do 15. 15. 15. Can you count that high? No, no. <laughs> you can. I know you can. All right. I'll do 15 one, of wild orange. Two, one. One. Let's put them all around. One. Yeah, that's about the wild orange, and she's getting the lavender in. Hmm, this is a good choice. I think it's gonna smell good. And I'm gonna just Five. keep kind of whisking it together while you keep going. You can keep putting them in. Six. Yours is coming out a lot more slow than the wild orange. Eight. At this point, this can be done. This is your fizzing bath salts. Now, how you use this is when you're in a warm bath, just put about a fourth of a cup into the tub. It will fizz, and as it goes into that water, you're gonna be getting those aromatherapy benefits from these essential oils. Now, this one's gonna be really relaxing and calming with that nice lavender and wild orange together. We're just going to put it here into a glass mason jar. That's where I store mine. Now, anytime I use anything with essential oils, I like to use glass because over time, plastic can, essential oils can break down plastic, so it's always safe to use glass. And then because this is clear, I'm not going to want this in direct sunlight because that too can take away the potency of the essential oil. So I'm going to store this underneath the bathroom sink. Now, if you want to, which Caroline already said that she does, you can make this to be a different color. So I found some natural um, skin safe dyes on Amazon, which I'll link them below. And we're actually going to make ours a rainbow. Since this is about six cups here, I'm going to do a half a cup of each one. So we're going to make six different colors. And then you're going to put it down in your mason jar. Make sure to pack it down really tight because whenever that'll make a nice surface for the next level. And then you'll have your rainbow colored 
um, bath salts. You can also leave them plain. You can do one color. Totally up to you. That's just for fun. If you guys are looking for more education on essential oils, I have a free online class below where I show you all the different ways that we use essential oils in our home. I also have a several different ebooks that you might want to check out. A brand new one all about natural skincare with a lot of different essential oil recipes. So that's down in the description below as well. And if this is your first time by my channel, I'd love to hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and healthy recipes. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>